Hey everyone, it's Kiara and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about a different country and show you how to make a cute little craft. So the country I chose today is called Paraguay, which is a country in South America and it's between Argentina and Brazil if you look at a map. And the reason why I chose this country is because today is their Independence Day, which means today is the day that they officially became a country. So kind of like the 4th of July in the United States, they like to celebrate with parades and music and dancing and decorations. And one of their decorations they like to use is called Nyanduti, which is traditional lace that they make. And they're famous all over the world for their lace. So today I'm going to show you how we can make our own version of their Paraguayan lace. So it's really simple. All the things that we will need today are just some blank sheets of paper, some scissors, and then something to color with, like crayons or markers or colored pencils. Anything that you have at your house works just fine. All right. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we need to make our paper into a square. So I'll show you how we can do that. So it's really easy. So all you need to do is take one corner and fold it over like this, so you make a little bit of a triangle. Okay, so it makes kind of a triangle, but there's a little bit of excess, so we can just go ahead and cut off the extra. And if you unfold it, then you've got a square. All right, so the next step is we need to color it so it's super colorful. So I'm just gonna take my crayons and put lots of different colors on there. The more colorful, the better. And something that I think is cool about Paraguay is they sp speak Spanish there. And, but something that they do that's a little bit different than other Spanish-speaking countries is if you're walking past someone and you're a little bit in a, in, you're in a little bit of a hurry, instead of saying hello when you pass them, they say adios, which means goodbye. And they say that to um, let people know that they're in a hurry and don't have time to talk. And I thought that was something interesting that they do. When I learned that, I thought that was really cool. Also, um, in Paraguay, they have a nickname. They go, their nickname is Corazón de America, which means the heart of America. And I think that's because they're right in the very center of South America of all the countries. So I think that's a cool thing that is unique to Paraguay. So I'm just picking as many different colors as I can. I just want it to be really bright and really colorful. And make sure that there's no more white spaces. Also, one more really cool thing about Paraguay is they have a Guinness World Record for having the largest barbecue ever. So they hosted a barbecue and 30,000 people came. So that's a lot of people. Can you imagine going to a barbecue with that many people? It was really cool. Alright, so I've got my entire paper covered in colors, so 
So now we're ready to start folding. So I'm going to fold it back in half like we had it before, just on that line. So it's like a triangle. And then we're going to fold it in half again so we get another triangle. Okay, and then we're going to fold it again, but this time we're going to fold it into thirds. So it's a little bit tricky, so watch closely how I do it. So I fold it in thirds, and then I fold it on over again, just like that. So that it looks like this. Okay, and now that we've got it all folded, all we have to do is cut out our little designs in it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make it look like the lace. Usually on their lace they have a little scallop pattern or little half circles on the outside. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to cut two little half circles into the edge of my lace. And then I'm just going to cut lots of different flower patterns and circles and stuff until I get it how I want it. So if you look at their lace, they don't use a lot of harsh lines. They do a lot of um, soft shapes like circles and flowers and stuff. They don't really do a lot of um, triangles or squares. So if you want it to look more like their traditional lace, then try to keep your shapes a little bit softer. I think I've got it all cut out how I want it. So now I'm just gonna gently unfold it. And there you go. So you get a really cool traditional lace pattern just like the ones that they make in Paraguay. So thank you guys so much for watching and if you try this at home, please send us pictures. We would love to see it. And we will see you again next week. Bye.